I was reading this uh, this article the other day on, on, on movies, um, you know, the fascination of them, the continued fascination of them, the history, you know, uh, people they influence, the artists they influence, you know, Quentin Tarantino, Martin Scorsese, and then the fans, the crazy fans. I don't know about you, but they creep me out. We're at the Safari Inn, which is a hotel here in Burbank, and uh, it's been a staple in film and television for many years. Uh, back in the 70s, it was utilized in a lot, a lot of TV shows. Partridge Family, uh, T.J. Hooker, a lot of 70s and 80s stuff. Uh, used in TV to this day. Um, recent shows that used it were uh, Desperate Housewives, or a lot of the Lethal Weapon TV series. But, uh, and, in, and of course, yeah, films, you know, Apollo 13 and Coach Carter. But I think the one that it's most known for is True Romance, the Tony Scott film, one of the best films of the 90s. It, uh, it's, it's one of the films, uh, the early screenplays of uh, Quentin Tarantino helped put him on the map. Uh, basically, True Romance came from, Tarantino took a script from his, a friend of his, Roger Avery, and uh, he had a, a screenplay called The Open Road. It was 70 pages long, and Tarantino said, let me flesh it out. From that came three Tarantino scripts. Natural Born Killers, True Romance, and Pulp Fiction, which is the only one that Roger Avery his name is on still, and, and True Romance was definitely highly influenced by three other films. Uh, David Lynch's Wild at Heart, which had just come out, the 60s French classic, Breathless, and uh, Terrence Malick's first film, Badlands. In fact, it's so influenced by Badlands that uh, Tony Scott had Hans Zimmer basically copy the no riff. But yeah, so Safari Inn. Uh, it's one of the locations. Uh, the movie starts off in Detroit. Actually, the, uh, the movie theater is the, uh, the Vista. Yeah, the Vista Theater. It's not in Detroit, where he goes and you know, he watches the Street Fighter movies, the Sonny Chiba movies. That's, that's in Los Angeles. Uh, and then the, uh, after the first act, it does move to L.A. And they come to the Safari, Inn, which is not on Sunset Boulevard like it tries to appear in the movie. It's, uh, it's in Burbank. But it, like I said, it's a staple, which is probably why they chose it in the screenplay. Tarantino's screenplay just says Holiday Inn. So I don't know, uh, you know, whose decision it was. It was Tony Scott. I don't know, but they chose to film it here. And, uh, exterior-wise, you know, uh, the interiors were a set, of course. So you know, if, if someone ever tells you, "Hey, we're going to give you the the true romance room," it's not really the true romance room because that, that's a set that doesn't exist anymore. Um, and so if if you come here with a bag of uncut cocaine, you're not going to be able to hide it under your bed. And if you chase after the person who stole your uncut cocaine here, you won't be able to throw them through a glass window, unfortunately. An another one of my favorite locations it does go to is Clarence in Alabama take the, the people that they're going to sell their cocaine to to Six Flags, Magic Mountain, uh, in Valencia, and they ride the Viper. Um, the Viper was then a very new roller coaster. It was designed by uh, the late, great Ron Toomer of Aerodynamics. It was one of several mega loopers he did. Uh, which means they had seven versions. It's the only one. It was a king of them, and it was only it's the only one left. The Viper is the only one left out of those. Uh, when it opened, it was the tallest and fastest looping roller coaster. It it doesn't get as much press now, but it's still one of my, my favorite rides. It was also used in Encino Man, but that's the one that they uh, they ride and make their uh, their pow puke. But yeah, so Safari Inn. The layout's the same. The signage, the classic signage, is the same. Uh, the, the place where, you know, they pull in and also scream out of here, it's all the same. So you still get a good, good little uh, bit of, bit of uh, you know, Hollywood classic vibe here. And um, I am going to try to just write You're So Cool on a check, but I, I, I'm pretty sure they're still going to have to, they're still going to ask for a credit card. That's not going to be good enough, I guess. Hawk shock!